Hi, I'm Betsy, and in this video, I'll show you how to open a shapefile in QGIS 2.0 and add a field to its attribute table. Once QGIS is open, you can click the icon Add Vector Layer on the left side of QGIS, and then you can navigate through your files to get to your shapefile that you want. And when you load it, you'll see it in the Layers bar and also in the main data viewer. So to open its attribute table, you can right-click on the layer within the Layers bar and click Open Attribute Table and you'll see all the different attributes that are within the shapefile. And to add a field to the shapefile, you first have to turn your editing on, which is done by clicking the pencil icon to the left of the table. Then in order to add a new field, you can click the icon second from the right, which is New Column. After choosing New Column, a box will show up that will allow you to name your field and also to select what type it will be. You could have a whole number, a decimal number, a text, or a date, and depending on how many characters each attribute will be, you have to change the width. So I'm going to add in a date that will be four digits long, so I'm going to change the width to four, and I'm just going to click OK, and you'll see that when you have the new field, everything shows up as null. In order to change this, you can click in each box and type in your new attribute. And once you're done filling in your attribute, you can once again click the pencil icon to stop your editing and also save your editing. So that's how you add a field to an attribute table. It's completely saved and you can manipulate that and use it to analyze however you please. I'm going to add my data into mapstory.org to show the development of the 50 states of America. If you want to learn more tips and tricks for QGIS, you can check me out at QGIS Girl on Twitter and YouTube. And if you want to explore MapStory, go to MapStory.org and read their blog and watch all the MapStories on their webpage.